So in the friction experiment, the theory that you're going to be confirming is the idea that the coefficient of kinetic friction depends only on the surfaces involved and not, for example, on the mass of the object or whether the objects are on an incline. So we're going to be testing this. We're going to measure the coefficient of kinetic friction of the IO lab just by itself on a level track with no added masses. Then we'll do it again with some added mass. And then we'll do it a third time with the track tilted. And if the theory holds up, then the coefficient of kinetic friction that you measure in all three of those cases should be the same within its limits of uncertainty. Now in this experiment, you're going to have the wheels of the cart up. So it's going to be wheels up. You're just going to be dragging the backside of it across some surface. And I found when I first did this experiment with a brand new IO lab, it was fine to just drag it like this. No problems. But then I changed my batteries and ever since then it seems to scrape a lot more. Something about the screws. So if you find that just the IO lab by itself seems to scrape a little too much when you try and drag it like this, in the little kit that you got with the IO lab, there's two felt pads and you can stick these to the back of the IO lab to make sure that it runs smoothly when you're doing this experiment. And if you don't want to stick anything permanently to the bottom of your IO lab, then what you can do instead is just tape a piece of paper to it. So this looks terrible, but it actually works great. So either of those is fine, or if you find that the IO lab runs smoothly with nothing on it, go ahead and do the experiment that way. Now we're going to be using the force sensor for this, so I do recommend that you zero the force sensor before you start. And another thing to be aware of is when you're dragging this, I've attached a string here to make it easy for me, you do want to be pulling exactly sideways, so you don't want the string up like this when you're pulling, otherwise you're not exactly sure what the horizontal force is. So you want to pull it exactly sideways, and what I find works is to wrap the string around your finger, make sure that the string is coming out horizontally from the sensor, and then you could just drag the sensor at a constant velocity like this. And that is what we will want to be doing in all three cases, is drag the sensor horizontally at a constant velocity so that the acceleration is zero. This will allow us to figure out what the friction is. So now let me show you how the data taking is done. So in this experiment, we only need the force probe. So I'll turn on my sensor and turn on the force probe. And as I said, it's a good idea to zero your force probe first. So I click record, and then click re-zero sensor, and then I can stop and reset. Now on the level track with no angle and no added masses, we're only going to need two things to get our coefficient of kinetic friction. The first is that we're going to need the tension force that is required to drag this at a constant velocity across the track. And the other thing we're going to need is the weight of the IO lab sensor. So you remember how to get the weight. Just click record, then lift this guy, wait for a straight line. And then you can highlight a section of data and get the weight of the IO lab and its uncertainty from that. So you get the weight the standard way, and now we want to get this tension force. So as I said, it's a good idea to wrap this around your finger, and then you can actually rest your finger on the track and just make sure that the string is coming out horizontally, and then you would click record and just drag it at a constant velocity across the track. And then we can highlight those sections that look pretty linear here, and we can get our force and its uncertainty off of the graph. And as I said, that's all you need for the first trial. Now in the second case, all you're going to need to do is the exact same experiment except with the weight on here, with one wrinkle, and that is you do need to get the weight of not just the sensor, but the added mass as well. So you need to jury a rig away to weigh both of them at the same time. So I'll leave that up to you. For the actual experiment, as before, we're just going to put the weight on there, wrap the string around our finger, click record, and drag this at a constant velocity across the track. Then stop, highlight the data that looks good, and get our tension force and its uncertainty from the graph. And for the third case, we're going to incline the track. So we'll stick something under this end just to raise it. And you do need to find out what the angle of the track is, so I recommend you do that exactly the same way that you did in the acceleration on an incline experiment. In other words, you would find the height over here, 
and the height over here, and the length of the entire track, and then you use some trigonometry to figure out what the angle of the incline is. So you get the angle. We're not going to have any added mass on it this time, so the original weight for the IO lab sensor that you measured should be fine for this experiment too, and therefore the only thing we need to get is the tension force. And again, we're going to do this exactly like before, where we drag it at a constant velocity, except now it's being dragged up a slope. So I make sure the string is coming straight out, and I rest my finger on the track, click record, and then just drag it at a constant speed up the track. And then highlight the data and get my value. And that's literally all the data taking you need to do for this experiment. You'll get three coefficients of kinetic friction, and we expect them to all be the same within their limits of uncertainty. I will warn you that the uncertainty analysis on this third case is a little bit hairy. And one last thing, I just want to point out how smooth this graph looks. This is about what you should expect to see. But remember that I said that I was having trouble with this IO lab scraping quite a bit. Let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to take the piece of paper I had on here off, and I'm just going to take some more data here. Notice how much more jaggedy that line is. So if you see that much noise in your data, that much jumpiness, that probably means you've got too much friction, something scraping on the IO lab, in which case I do suggest that you either use those felt pads that came with the kit, or like me, you tape a piece of paper to the bottom of it.